Welcome to this video, Maradona. Let's do something else. Let's play the tango. Yeah, it, um, this guy is probably just transposing to the classical anyway. Yeah, and we have the, the Zurich variation. It's not yeah. much that I can do after the tango here to avoid that. I had this yeah, against him earlier. He, he was one of the brave souls who grabbed the pawn, I had a totally winning position. And he's doing it again. I don't understand them. I, do, I mean, he really was completely busted in this game that he had earlier against me. And now he's doing this. Okay. It's also not really great, to be perfectly honest. But um, this is a kind of a try of an improvement. Yeah. This is um, something. I mean, you really have to be... Um, I don't know how to call it. <laughs> yeah, to grab this kind of kind of pawn and try to hold on. It's just um, a very very unesthetic way to play. Yeah? Got nothing developed. But okay, it's um, not like it's losing immediately. Okay, can go here. Hmm. It's a matter of taste. I can also play rook d8 or knight e4. Yeah, maybe start with this. Yeah, black's compensation is the better development and the nice squares, yeah, we like c5 or here e4. And um, it's not so clear how white is um, going to uh, going to, to uh, untangle here. I can just take it if I want. Um, maybe he's threatening threatening bishop g7 and not really yeah it's not really a threat can go f6 for example or rook d8 first mm. uh, then he might take there hmm uh, this is a case where I really have a tattoo too much of good continuations that, that, that look somewhat interesting. Hard to determine what's best. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. He, he maybe can take a5, but he's not, not considering it seriously, it seems. Maybe he could have taken a5, I wasn't sure. Bishop h3, bishop f3, bishop h3, bishop f3, hmm. Interesting, yeah, hard to tell. I really, this is the kind of position where a player like I am, I'm not such a quick calculator. I need, I usually need a little bit of time to figure out really what's best. If it's so concrete, like here, and uh, I just have to go with uh, with my feeling here with rook d6. Rook d6 will go over to g6 or h6. It definitely is a good attack, but I wasn't able to determine if this was really the the best continuation. So rook h3 was what I was thinking. So move the bishop, but it just doesn't look right. Rook g6, he will really take. Yeah, this is not, not enough. I can just drop it back to c8. Yeah, this is not ridiculous. Bishop rook h6. I think he can take the bishop. I don't see. 
a win there. Takes, rook takes, bishop g2. It's probably no win. Okay, I'm going back, which doesn't look right, but maybe it's it's what I need to do. And maybe I should have gone to f5, yeah? There wasn't wasn't really a reason to go to c8. Yeah, okay. The idea is simply rook h6, queen h4, and mate. Yeah, here, yeah. Here's here's a case where the bishop on f5 would be uh, would be uh, would have been better. Yeah, would be just covering e4 a little bit better. If he takes e4 now, queen a h4. Isn't this good, queen h4? How does he cover h2 with bishop e5 or? I don't know. <sighs> Would have been much Time better to have the bishop on f5 so that I'm not immediately checkmated, yeah? <clears throat> Really would have been much, much better. Now rook d8 mate is a constant problem. This is just this is a kind of the annoying the type of very annoying loss where you know that you had a fantastic position but you screwed it up with all the pieces in the attack maybe just bishop f5 was enough not sure this is something that is of course very dependent on the concrete moves that have to be um, be checked afterwards with the with the comp yeah the, have to cover d8 unfortunately you can even go rook g1 now, besides the problem that I have no time, no time at all. Yeah, and rook d8. Yeah, just bishop to f5, how idiotic am Black I? Black resigns. Yeah, I just, uh, nah, that's a frustrating kind of loss. Okay, let's let's have a look and see how I could have played this better. Okay, well, the computer is saying white is better, so it's probably not a completely, completely sound attack. But I mean, it can come on. I mean, this was definitely bad. I have to go to f five. Yeah, just that that my that the the knight here is at least protected. Hmm. Yeah, but still, the comp says white can defend. One key idea is bishop e five. It looks dangerous. It still does. Okay, possible. If he gets in, this is a very important uh, resource. Yeah, if he gets this in, I thought it was too much on the king already, but this is maybe not the case then. Yeah, here, here there are many ideas. Maybe I'm, I made a wrong, a wrong decision here. I don't know what what exactly is in my my analysis here. Maybe also knight e4. Possible knight e4 is also also always an idea, which um, is a little bit different than bishop e6 first. But um, maybe I should have shouldn't have played queen e7. I was thinking about this, which is not terribly bad, but maybe I should go to e4 immediately. This is maybe better. It uh, gives this opportunity, and I can go to g5 in one go. Yeah, it's probably a little bit better. I mean, black has a compensation here. That's not really the question, but probably I made a mistake somewhere here. Yeah, knight d6 is also interesting, attacking the pawn. But the way it went, I guess, really was good for white. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here I have to do some things that don't help. Bishop g4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this is losing due to due to bishop g seven or here. 
Check. Desperado, and then this, yeah. This is the key point that this bishop is helping out in the defense. And here I'm really just lost, yeah. yeah. Not much that I can do. Here, I mean, I'm also losing on time, but uh, <laughs> the position is also completely lost. So I didn't play it precisely after he grabbed the pawn. I always get very optimistic when they do this because I simply think this is a crap line for white. I mean, you, you don't develop anything and so on. This, this is not really what I like. <laughs> but um, punishing it um, is, is, is another thing if you have limited time. Have to still have to be uh, precise. Maybe knight e4 is better. I forgot what exactly um, I had analyzed here. Maybe knight e4 immediately is a little bit better. If I now, now that I look at it, maybe I have to go there anyway. Maybe, maybe this is the better move. Yes, I mean you have you have compensation in many ways, but it's still a question of of being precise. I know that my analysis here ended in some kind of weird draw by repetition. This is what I remember. The computer here, if you give it here to to Stockfish, um, it says zero zero zero, which is <laughs> not much help. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching.